Hey guys, Andrew from American Musical Supply here, having some fun with the iRig Stomp IO from IK Multimedia. What I want to show you is using the Amplitude software, how easy it is to create a preset, your own sound. Um, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Right here, I am going to preface this with I have some extras loaded up into my Amplitude uh, CS here on the iPad, so I've, I've I've kind of got it tricked out, all right? So I have a few extra amps and things that you may not have if you have just the straight CS version, but the uh, process is still the same, okay? So let's go ahead and pick an amp. Uh, to do that, I'm gonna click right here, and then I can select from the bevy of amps that are located inside. So let's go with one of the amps that uh, come stock. Let's use the clean amp, okay? Alrighty, now what I can do with my, uh, with my amp here, let's turn the wire off. I finished laughing at the beginning. Uh, we can go ahead and dial in use, using uh, the knobs on the user interface here. I can go ahead and tweak my sound. Ready to play some surf music with that. Right, right on. Okay, I can also add some effects pedals. Up here I have a couple already, but if I want to change them, I can just go ahead and uh, click there, on the uh, press on the name of the pedal right up here, and then I have, again, a myriad of options to choose from. So uh, let me put in, um, what would be a good first effect? Hmm, let's try compressor, okay? So again, I can, Go ahead and dial in my sensitivity, my output, and if I want the uh, effect to be engaged whenever I bring the preset on, I need to turn it on, right? A little too much trouble, maybe, and the presence, uh, we can bring that up a bit. Alrighty, so again, I can repeat this process if I want to add other effects. Um, let's, let's get a little, uh, chorus going, maybe some delay. All right, let's try my, see how that sounds. It's going for an 80s vibe. Okay, put some delay in. Oh, don't wanna get sued by Sting. Sting, if you're out there, you need a guitar player, you know, maybe you would consider me, I don't know. I don't know if I'm there yet, but give me a few years. Now, we also got some other options that we can explore with the cabs and click on this. And you can see that I have, uh, I actually have a mic expansion pack here, which gives me some, some other microphone options. So uh, let's go for a, let's look for the 67. All right, put that in. Okay, and then I can reposition those mics if I want to. Let's maybe go for the edge of the cone there. Cool, and I can blend them using this slider up here, so. Very nice, I like it. All right, so now uh, let me exit out of that, go back to the rig. So now all I have to do is save that, and I can do that by clicking on my little presets menu here. Let's go into user presets. And let's click, oh, I have a folder here already. It's called Hot Tones. All right, let's go into there and save this hot tone. Click on save and I can give it a name. <clears throat> Chorus, Chorus Clean, let's call, call it that. Very descriptive name, okay. And there it is. And I can also add it using that menu. I can add it to a favorite down here and then once I go to my live view, all right, I have my chorus clean preset accessible. I can, you know, if I want to go, go to other presets or whatever, obviously I can bank down here and then bank back up. Oh, it's magic. 
it's still there on number 17. And again, I can access all of the other features, uh, such as turning the stomps on, the, the effects on and off using the stomp switches by accessing stomp mode, etc. You can check out our other video uh, that gives you a basic rundown of the operation of the iRig Stomp IO. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, it's super easy to use Amplitude CS for iPad. Um, and I'll be doing also a short demo video to give you an idea of some of the sounds that come prepackaged, uh, the presets that come prepackaged in the software package. So head on over to AmericanMusical.com and check out the iRig Stomp IO by IK Multimedia. Thanks for watching.